stories about that stuff in this town. Well, hold, hold on, Debbie. Oh, hold, no, hold on, I'm Debbie. I'm not even going to go we're, there. No, you're going to go there because we're going to get oh, there. But no. I, I don't want to. I don't want to oh, neglect no. my other guests because I've got Dangerous D. Speaking of bad boys, <laughs> got, here, let me talk to us about bad boys. We're going to get back to that. We're going to yeah, get back. But to that's you. how I got into Bruce Lee through guys. And we're going we're gonna to talk about Bruce Lee. Yeah. No, no, because this is yeah, like a mother. This is a Bruce exploitation movie. Remember when Bruce Lee died and there was like Bruce Lai and Bruce Lee. Right, right. That's right. what I'm saying. I'm all about that. Yeah, I love that. Into yeah, like the, yeah, like that, like I I, 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 I watched it the other night. It was uh, I, it was a, a I very yes. right. You you, know, you got to see this one. Like the whole the, the opening of the movie, he comes up out of the grave. The rest of the movie has nothing to do with it. But, <laughs> but Debbie Dutch is there in, in her in her youth. You, how old were you when you did that? By the way, in the huh? movie. How old were you when Bruce Lee? I, I was. Basically, seventeen, eighteen, something like that. Right, which is which is amazing because you're yeah, twenty. So I would go the you're twenty nine now. So yeah, that's a thank you. But I would go to the Rainbow. I was underage. Ooh. Mario was so cool. I mean, I I just love Rainbow because Derek would be recording all all night, like producers or SIR or something, and I'd hang out and uh, do my little background singing in the yeah. thing, and then Richard would put me in the in the little booth. He said, "Debbie, dance." The one you like the best, you dance to. That's going to be the next hit single. Cross my heart. Wow. And so I'd go in there. Can you and cross your heart like, again? Oh, uh, that yeah. was not good for dancing. Dance because back in those days. So, so you're 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 like you're like American Bandstand. You predicted the new song. That's fantastic. Well, I just danced the the ones yeah. that I could feel. Yes. Because yeah. I'm a dancer. For it. You know, yeah. music is for dancing. Actually, right. I mean, it's yeah. for listening and enjoying. But basically. You know, you get up and you jump around and dance, right? You get up and do what? Yep. So they jump they around and dance. They would put me in the booth, and they would say, hey, Richard Perry, I don't know if you guys ever heard of him before, but he's like a, a, a producer. He produced Carly Simon. Sure. Um, Manhattan Transfer, a bunch of different groups. But anyway. Not a lot of dancey guys, groups, but yeah, they're good. Yeah. But have you ever met these guys before? Dangerous D and the uh, and, uh, no. and Cyrus? Because uh, Dangerous D, first off, we got to call you just Domesticated D. That's, what that's why you have not been on in a while. Dangerous Daddy, yo. Dangerous, Dangerous Daddy. Daddy. The man, he, this last year, 2018, you got married. I know. I got to say, actually, this is the first time I've been like on air since all that nonsense took place. Did you ever think that nonsense would happen? Now, I, I've known you ever since I've known you. You've been with Madeline. I, and so. Yeah. A actually, she uh, she like floored me. I like I... I you know, I'm Italian, so I came from like a big family, you know, yeah, yeah. type of thing. And family is important. I was like, yeah, eventually one day I get married, have kids, do the whole thing. Moved out to LA a couple of years ago, you know, in the entertainment business, doing what I'm doing. And right. it was like gung ho work. Yeah. You know, I wasn't sidetracked by anything, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And uh, and she knocked me out. She floored me. So, uh, I she, put and it, she sees somebody that can floor people. She's, she's, she's unbelievable. Oh, dude, she's unbelievable. So, yeah. uh, yeah, you know, I was an idiot. Mama didn't raise no fool. I locked yeah. it down real quick. Right. Bang. Got it, you right. know. But yeah, in the, the past couple months, we got married. We uh, we had a little boy. Wow. So, yeah, it's yeah. insane. The first one. So uh, That's yeah. why I haven't hit you up because I, I, yeah, I thought well, you were yeah. busy you know, changing say, diapers. Oh, man. It, seriously, dude? You have yeah. no idea, bro. <laughs> no idea. I have a little tiny peanut, right? He's like, he's, he's yeah. Dean, my little buddy Dean Angelo, right? He's tiny. Right, right. Tiny. No, it's, 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 crap, they tend to be at that age. He craps like 20 times a day. Like, <laughs> grown, like grown man shits. Like, yeah, well, I know. Your son. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, like, like father, like son. Tonight. He's got those, those Italian bowels already, bro. Yeah, so how, how many times did you shit today? Me, 42. Yeah, uh, 42, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I actually just destroyed the bathroom in here. I can imagine. Before I came in, yeah. It, it, luckily, there's a lot of, there's no, a lot of crazy, potpourri yeah. in there. And yeah. So, like, tampons. Like, you know what I mean? My, my, my wife, Madeline, is the absolute best. I got a little boy, Dean. He's, he's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Dangerous D, Domesticated D. And I got about, like, I think, like, another week or two. He's three weeks old uh, yesterday. Yeah, congratulations. So, I have about uh, about another two or three weeks before I put him in the show. I was going to say that, that this I is why this was going to be our next one. I put him in. His first birthday, instead of blowing his candles out, he's going to eat the bitches. Wow. And then you're really? going to hang them from your ears. That's what I'm saying. I'm stringing them. That's how I put them to sleep. I rock them with my ear. I rock them. Now, are you kidding? Or are you seriously? No, I'm 100% serious. I don't. For some reason, <laughs> I don't like that. This no, believe it. I've seen it. <laughs> you've, seen him, you've seen him hang them from his ears? Yes. People don't realize, like, until you get a baby, like, like the thing is, like, uh, I don't work out often or whatever, but, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm physical and whatever, you know, I'm, I'm fairly strong. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, as soon as you get a baby, like, you don't like you realize them. You don't have baby muscles. Like you don't have the muscles to like hold a baby the way they need to be. Like your arms are right. tired in like five minutes. Oh sure, know? I could jerk off for like four hours, hold a baby for like literally thirty <laughs> seconds. I'm like, what right. the fuck, right? You know, right. So you gotta like work, you know, those specific muscles out. So 
I'm becoming like that, that where you get like that dad strength thing. Mm -hmm. So until I can work those muscles up, the strong. Because you already had the dad bod. Well, you know what I'm saying? I did that on purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think as soon as he was born, I got my first gray hair. Nice. I'm like 40 pounds overweight. Sure. I eat 16 times a day. Yeah. And I drink a lot of beer and I yell at people that walk on my lawn. And you ship 42 like, times it, a day. Yeah. 42 today. You know what I mean? But it, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. So my strongest part of my body are my ears. So I chain them up. I rock them. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Wow. wow.